What is up YouTube DWK videos? I make military content put on the internet for you guys to enjoy. If you want, my social media links are in the description down below. Today we're going to be talking about the weapons you'll shoot in boot camp and how to qual marksman, sharpshooter, or expert if you're a little badass starting off the gate. Probably the southern boys watching this because that's what they do. They shoot guns. Talk about trying. But before we go any further, if you're in depth pool, this will greatly help you. I highly recommend hitting that little favorites button on this video so you can go back to it right before boot camp and get the knowledge again. <laughs> Anyway, in boot camp, you'll be shooting a 9mm pistol, the M9, and you'll be shooting a shotgun. The M9 is the one you can qual on. Unfortunately, you can't qual on a rifle till once you get into the fleet and or A school, depending on what your A school is. MAs, GMs, spec operates are going to shoot an M16, M4 in the fleet, which you can then qual and get another marksman, sharpshooter, or expert. However, in boot camp, only the pistol and shotgun are being offered, and the shotgun does not have a qualification standard. Pretty much for the shotgun, you just shoot it. Like, yeah, you'll be aiming, but as long as you pull the trigger, it doesn't really matter where the bullets land. So, for M9, there are three phases of shooting consisting of 48 live rounds. Before you even touch the live rounds, you're gonna practice in a simulation room with a fake gun and a laser, <clears throat> along with tons of other safety precaution and educational moments to make sure you are confident shooting this weapon. If you guys have never shot a gun before, honestly, it's not hard and there's guys next to you at all times coaching you through it. I grew up a little city boy, so I didn't shoot guns uh, growing up. And what I've noticed were all the southern dudes who used to shoot guns, like hunting and stuff, all got expert, while the rest of us got marksmen and sharpshooters. So if you do want the expert to feel good about yourself, maybe go to a range before you're going to boot camp and practice with an M9. So the three phases pretty much decide what distance you're gonna be shooting the M9 at. So the first phase is from three yards ahead of you. The second phase is from seven yards ahead of you. The third phase is from 15 yards ahead of you. Now throughout this whole thing, there'll be audio going on in the background, basically telling what you what to do. You'll shoot dominant hand, shoot non-dominant hand. You'll shoot from a kneeling position, shoot from a kneeling position. Shoot X amount of bullets in a clip from your right, X amount of bullets in the clip from your left. After you shoot, they're basically gonna take your little silhouette off the wall and then calculate a score. I'm going to open up my phone for the score because remembering this would just be ridiculous. <laughs> the Pistol Markmanship Ribbon, the Navy Sharpshooter Award, and the Navy Expert Pistol Medal may be earned on the Navy Handgun Qualification Course. In order to earn Markmanship Award, you must obtain 180 to 203 points. To qualify as a sharpshooter, you must score between 204 and 227. The highest award, the expert medal, is awarded to those who score 228 or higher. On your silhouette, there will be scoring zones that they want you to hit. I'm assuming the closer to the middle of where they want you to hit, the more points you're going to be awarded. For the, sh the shotgun is actually four stations. The first one, there's going to be a tall barricade. You're going to shoot your rounds. Before you go to the next barricade, you're going to reload some shotgun ammo. At station two, there will be a low barricade where you'll be kneeling and you'll shoot another four rounds and then load four more rounds to go to the station three. At station three, you will actually be holding the shotgun up against your shoulder. This one's probably the most painful if you're frail. Um, I've seen some girls walk away with bruises because of this, because of the kickback. However, there will be no barricade for this. You're pretty much going to let off four rounds, reload four, and go to the next station. At station four, you're pretty much gonna hit fire, and if you guys ever seen those, uh, oh great, now I don't remember the name of the movie, the guy with the cocaine. He goes, say hello to my little friend, right? Anyway, you're gonna hit fire the shotgun three rounds, you're pretty much gonna clear it out, show the instructor it's cleared out, they'll take the gun from you, you'll walk away with your hands up, they'll pretty much check to make sure you have no live rounds in your cargo pockets or anything, and then you can leave. And boom, there's your Navy qualification course. You can qualify with an M16 and M4 once you get out in the fleet. However, qualificate, unless your job specifically has you firing a weapon, the qualifications do nothing more than make you look cool in your dress uniform and your service dress uniform because it's additional ribbons with stuff on them. Hopefully you guys found this video interesting. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below what you want me to comment next. Comment. Jesus! What you want me to record next because I read each and every comment. Thank you guys so much. I'll see ya.